Twice upon a time, there was a king who ran this classified ad in the local town crier. Be it known all the land where the king holds sway, that at the king's palace at sundown today, his majesty offers his daughter's fair hand to the wealthiest suitor in all the land. We the people voices must raise. Against Alakazam and his wily ways, a jewel to him is a grain of sand. That wicked old wizard will win her hand. <gasps> Alakazam! <laughs> you don't like me, the dogs. This Alakazam might be public luck number one, but it's hard to see how he can lose. Being a magic wizard, all he has to do is wave his wand like a swing band leader in the groove and zingo. There's a gunny sack full of jewels. Jewels and stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh, look at that diamonds and pearls. With talent like that, the king figures this is one game where a low diamond takes a queen. He's willing to nominate Alakazam's son-in-law and let him make a vanishing act out of the castle mortgage. You will learn to love me, my little pigeon. So it's Alakazam leading in the backstretch. Alakazam at the waist. Alakazam all the way, but... But wait a minute. Another. <gasps> Ooh, another. Who's this dark horse coming up? Why, this guy's our hero. It looks like Dan Cupid's got a half Nelson on him. And I'm the princess, too. But what chance has true love got against hot and cold running diamonds in every room? Oh, oh gosh. What you got? Jewels? <laughs> oh, yeah. just before the milk wagon. Right now, things look cold black for our hero. But presto, another magician. Nicky Gnome, at your service. I love the princess, but I have no jewels. And so I can't win her as majesty rules. A valley of jewels? But how will I go? Well, just you watch me, and soon you will know. Didn't I tell you to take magic to put that Alakazam on the spot mark X? All you do is relax on that. I hold an oleum away! Twenty-one jewel horse landing. Is this what they mean by being a couple of jumps ahead of the sheriff? Meanwhile, the villain is tuning in on his crystal ball. Oh, spirit of the crystal. 
Will you confess? The beautiful princess, she loves me, yes. The beautiful princess, she loves you. No. Eh. Uh, look again. Alakazam, you got diamonds galore. The pauper boy's got plenty more. Cheapers, creepers. How oh, you like that? Where's my hat, my wand, my gladstone? Somebody saddle my magic vulture. Down, Cuthbert. Open the door. It's a good thing he's just renting the place. Hopper in flight six calling Baghdad, calling Baghdad. Hello, Dad. Sailing unlimited. Visibility just peachy. But he shouldn't be detouring through any rainbows to get himself all dolled up. Not when there's a tough citizen heading his way with unkind thoughts. Hey, kids, snap out of it. Alakazam's on the muscle, and here he comes. Sideswipe, by gosh. And now the beans are spilled for sure. But Nicky Gnome's a wood butcher, too. He does a little cabinet work. Alakazam must be a hard guy to live with. It seems he's been throwing a couple of smokers and has handed out some cheap stogies. The smoke just about has our hero down. And Nicky gets the air conditioning system going just in time to save the referee from counting ten. Alakazam is so plus nonplus at the way things are going that he forgets to dot his eyes. Alakazam is going to stop this guy, but how? A good beating will keep the malls out of any rug. But our hero takes an awful dusting, too. So Nicky comes back with a couple of new twists to spring on the villain. Now it seems that the villain's ball-headed buzzard is saving string to feather a nest. So here is our hero, down and out, but definitely down, yeah, but not out. He knows a few ways to score that aren't in the rule book. So he pulls some high-tension abracadabra that leaves Alakazam somewhere back of the flag. Signals, ship, and interference, follow me. Watch out when there's a good magician around, or else they will get bats in the belfry. story is like this. A poor because honest citizen can practically always marry the king's daughter and live happily ever after, if he knows the right people.